students the next topic we have here is finding patterns of text with regular expressions okay so last time we had written a program to find a pattern of text without regular expression so let us see how this is much better than that okay the previous phone number finding program works okay so that uh, which we had written a previous program for finding a number it works but it uses a lot of code to do something limited okay it uses a lot of code to do something very limited okay the is phone number function is 17 lines but it can find only one pattern of phone numbers okay that is the previous is phone number function which we had written okay this uh, function which was there is phone number this phone number function is 17 lines but it can find only one pattern of phone number that is three digits hyphen three digits hyphen and four digits only this pattern it can find even though it is 17 lines of code okay <coughs> what they're saying is what about a phone number formatted like this or this that is three digits dot three digits dot four digits or uh, four one five in parenthesis then three digits hyphen four digits like that what if the phone number had an extension like this okay if it had an extension like this that means at the last they have x99 here okay so the is phone number function would fail to validate them okay although the phone numbers are same but as the patterns are different the above is phone number function would fail to check them okay then it will say that the phone number pattern is not found although the phone number is correct there only the pattern is changed okay so you would add yet more code for these additional patterns but there is an easier way okay so we uh, to check such type of patterns we can have additional code okay additional code to the previous program but instead of that there is an easier way okay so how long will you go on extending that uh, program for finding patterns of different for finding phone numbers of different patterns if you have uh, many different patterns will you go on adding extra code for that okay apart from adding extra additional code for that apart from that there is an easier way to do that so which is the easier way to do that is regular expressions okay regular expressions called reg access okay regular expressions called reg access for short are descriptions for a pattern of text okay regular expressions called reg access for short are descriptions for pattern of text so uh, this regular expressions provide us different description for a particular pattern of text for example a slash d in regular expression stands for a digit character okay slash d in a regular expression stands for a digit character that is backslash d okay if backslash t is there in a regular expression it stands for what it is a sing uh, digit character okay that is any single numeral 0 to 9 okay any single numeral from 0 to 9 can be represented by slash d okay then if you all are using <coughs> if you are using the regular expression slash d d slash d okay for example if you are using the expression like this then it is used to match a phone number that is 3 times slash d hyphen 3 times slash d hyphen 4 times slash d is used by python to match the same text the previous is is phone number function did okay so instead of that same numbers that same numbers if you are putting this any numbers any numbers of this pattern will be checked okay previously it was matching only this particular number so you can have any numbers of this pattern okay a string of three numbers a hyphen three more numbers another hyphen okay three more numbers another hyphen and four numbers any other string any other string would not match the slash d uh, this particular regular expression 
okay any other string would not match this okay but regular expressions can be much more sophisticated okay they can be much more sophisticated for example adding a 3 adding a 3 in curly brackets after a pattern is like saying match this pattern three times okay if you are putting any uh, number in curly brackets after a pattern that means that pattern has to be checked for three times okay that to be checked for three times so the slightly shorter regular expression so the slightly shorter regular expression slash d slash d and slash 4 this particular which is there that means this slash d has to be matched three times this slash d has to be matched three times and this slash d has to be matched four times okay so this shorter regular expressions will match the correct phone number format okay it will match the correct phone number format so to check those particular uh, patterns we can go for this regular expression and also for shorter regular expressions also okay so this was about regular expressions to do the same task as the previous program but in a very easier way